In this video, we're going to solve for the acceleration and tension for this modified Atwoods machine. So in a modified Atwoods machine, you have a pulley, uh, you have a block that's on the table connected through a string, and now on the other end of the string is another um, body, another object. Uh, there's also friction on this table between the table and the block with a friction of 0 0.20 coefficient of friction. And uh, this is the equation that we're going to start off with, net force equals ma. What I like to do first is to indicate my system. And so the system for me is going to be this 4 kilogram block as well as this 1 kilogram block. So I want to first indicate um, my system. And then I want to think about what forces are acting on the system. I know that there is gravitational force, uh, Fg is equal to mg. And in this uh, problem, I'm going to use uh, 10 for g just to make calculation a little easier. So 4 times 10, 4 times 10, that would be times 10, that would be 40, 40 newtons. So that is the gravitational force on this block. This will also tell me what the normal force is. And the normal force is also going to be 40 newtons because it's not accelerating up and down. So these two forces are balanced. Uh, now, other forces involved here is this force right here. Gravity is pulling on this block down, and Fg is mg, and so mass is 1, g is 10, so that gives me uh, 1 times 10 is 10 newtons. So that is the gravitational force downward. There's also a tension force going upward. We'll talk about the tension. I'll call that T for right now. There is also a tension force T right here, okay? And um, I'm going to assume a massless, a frictionless pulley right here. And so this tension will equal this tension force right here. Okay. Um, there's also friction. So there is a friction force going this way, and that's going to be Fk. So as far as the net force is concerned, um, on my system, uh, I've got Fg and I've got Fk, Fg of the 1 kilogram. So I need to calculate Fk. I know coefficient of friction is 0.2. The normal force is 40, and 0.2 uh, times 40, I get 8 newtons. Okay, so my net force is going to be everything in the positive direction. Here's my uh, here's my direction of my my axis here. So typically, an axis is is straight, but when you have a pulley, it redirects this force here. So um, the axis is going to be uh, horizontal, and then when it gets a pulley, it's going to go downward. Uh, so I'm going to take everything that's uh, in the positive direction, all the forces in the positive direction minus all the forces in the negative direction. Uh, so that would be 10, 10 newtons minus, and my Fk here, this Fk is 8 newtons. So 10 minus 8 newtons uh, equals, and here you got to be real careful. This is your system mass, system mass, meaning it's all the mass in your system. I've got 4 kilogram and 1 kilogram. So that's going to be 5 kilograms uh, and then times A. So I get uh, 2 equals 5A, and A is 2 divided by 5, uh, which we get 0.4 meters per second squared. Okay, And then the next we're looking for the tension. Common mistake students make is that, oh, the tension is equal to the gravitational force. However, that's not true. If these were um, equal, uh, then there would be no acceleration. But I know that there is an acceleration, so that tension uh, is not going to equal Fg. So I'm going to uh, restate my Newton second law again, F equals ma, except this time I have a different system. My system this time is just going to be the one kilogram box. Okay, so this is my system, just that one kilogram uh, block right there. All right, and I'm going to draw a force diagram. So uh, we have a force going down, which is Fg, and Fg is equal to 10 newtons. That's the weight of the object. And in the up direction is my tension force, which I'm going to call T. Okay, so I'm going to use my Newton's second law. Uh, I'm going to write all the forces in the positive direction, which is 10 newtons, minus force in the negative direction, which is T equals m, which is 1 kilogram, times a, and a is 0.4, so 0.4. Okay, so uh, we have 10, uh, we're, we have a 0.4 on the right-hand side, I'm going to subtract 0.4 on both sides, so I'm going to end up with uh, 10 minus 0.4, and I get 9.6 uh, newtons on the left, is equal to t, which is the tension.
Okay, so now just an, one more thing I wanted to mention. So this this uh, axis, which is bending around, um, it, it can bother people sometimes. So I want you to I want to provide another way to think about this. So imagine that we were to straighten this out, right? So imagine that we were to straighten this out. So what what I would have here is I would have uh, my four uh, kilogram uh, block is I'm going to straighten it out, okay? And then now I have a one kilogram block right here, okay? And so you can think of it this way as well. So that pulley really bothers you. You can just kind of strain that out and then analyze it this way. What forces are in towards the right? So you have this 10 newtons. So we have 10 newtons towards the right. So that is your um, gravitational force. And what force do you have to the left? Um, now you have eight newtons to the left, okay? So then when you write your uh, net force equals MA, your net force equals MA, you can write 10, all the forces towards the right, which is your positive direction, minus 8 is equal to your system mass, 4 plus 1 is 5, times A. And then solve for A, and you get the, the same answer that we got, got right here.